I guess. That laid me. Alright, enjoy this song. I'll return swiftly. Okay. Off of screen, mouse cursor. This is a bit loud, and I figured out why. Set my volume cranked to a higher level. Okay. Lives unlimited, come on. No no knockback, come on. I haven't actually ever beaten a Castlevania game, but I'm not a babby. I'll turn this up a bit more. That's probably good. Tell me if the game's drowning out my voice. Uh it appears fine in next split. Also, dream mouse. There was once a man who had been given the moon's curse by demons. That man was Zangetsu, wrapped in crimson garb with eyes like fire. He relentlessly pursued the demons who cursed him. As he journeyed from one pit of darkness to another, he would stop at nothing until he struck down every last demon in his path. One night, he sensed the looming presence of a great demon. He swore to eradicate all demons, no matter how much of a threat they posed. Bathed in moonlight, he cried out as he drew his sword which consumed the darkness from within its wretched steel. On that night, either the demons or the moon itself would feel the wrath of his blade. It's gonna slice the moon in half. What worked, Gamba? I have seen a good bit of the game from Will. Not 
enough to know how to fight the bosses or anything. But I did kind of have the story ruined for me, however Lil did not beat the game in New Game Plus mode, which I fully intend to do. I don't know if it'll happen tonight, it depends on how long it takes me to beat the game. Dang, my eye is so bloodshot right now, you don't understand. But furthermore, if Gumbo's right and Loser's coming, I'm gonna have to... I am, like, required to fight Loser in PSO2. Because he's one of the four emergency quests that gives me the thing I need in order to be able to start doing my weapon grinding. <sighs> okay. Oh yeah, it's gonna turn down the volume. Um, oh, of course it's too loud. It shouldn't be at three bars. Why does it keep going back to three bars? Whatever. Whatever. Activate Curse of the Moon. You're not gonna tell me what Curse of the Moon does? I think I'm gonna go D-pad on this one. Right. Can't move in the air. Don't super enjoy that. Or should give a grind boost. Find yourself regretting a grievous error you have committed in the past. The moon's curse can undo the flow of time and give you the chance to begin anew. Ah, yes, that. I bet, in, unless it's beat it in New Game Plus, I bet the third difficulty is complete the game without the curse of the moon. There has to be something special for doing that. Not gonna happen here, though. I'll take this more slowly so I can figure out what does what. Alright, score. You can't suplex the ghost train? That's just health, I guess. Yay, hearts are actually health instead of weapon ammo. I always thought that was stupid. Again, I haven't done Castlevania yet, but still, I know that much. Enemies don't respawn, which is good. These are the same enemies that I didn't kill earlier, I think. I mean, you get an amount of things that are pretty cool. I don't, uh, I mean, unless you're going to actually craft stuff, it won't be super useful to you, probably. I, I did see something that looked interesting that you can purchase for a lot of gold, like Goldius and, um, something else, but, uh, I don't have that much of the crafting materials. Gold's like the highest rank. And you can't exchange lesser ranked materials for better ranked materials, but... What's with that spooky lantern? Come on. I'm 
really digging this music. Okay, I changed my thing. Try it out when I encounter it, my first enemy. There could be a secret down there. So that's like a weird pit, you know? There's like nothing that could knock me into that pit. It's barely a jumping challenge. I've had stronger jumping challenges already here. That really looks like a, uh... It's impossible to fight that guy if he's already on you. Yeah, but the thing is, Gumbo, I, I think with how the, um, the player shop works, I think the top of the list is whoever had their item on there first, and there's thousands of them already on there, so it will take a long time to have your stuff purchased. That said, I have, um like four different crafting items set to 999 on the shop, but unless you want to wait like a month to get better returns, you probably want to trade up. Plus, they do become worth a decent amount of money eventually. What's that? It seems I can use sub weapons with the Y button, but that would require weapon points. If I destroyed Lance, perhaps I can find a magic potion to restore my weapon points. I also understand the difficulty of Lance contained areas. Oh, so I remain devoted to the sword. The whip is back again, but I'm just gonna continue with this magic talisman. Come forth unto my blade, vile monster. I have, to, I have to stay dedicated to the lore and have to just destroy every demon. It's like Zangetsu do. Is that a demon? Be gone, demon! I think I'd splash the fire. Yes. Now almost certain. I cannot get high enough here. Does he only shoot in one, like, left or right? Or could he hit me here? I guess he only shoots left and right. Is that score? Hey, Nama. Ah! I don't think I had a way to actually kill him without taking damage. This is supposed to be a rather small game, because this is just a... this little fun extra they made because they got enough money on the Kickstarter. The Wheel Boy game's coming later this year, probably? I don't want the whip. No! I can't escape! Doggy. That's definitely breakable. No? Nutty! Here's a good opportunity to actually test this out. Let's do it! Not quite. Ding! Takes three weapon points. 
Oh, that one's a really good one. I don't... I don't need to use it here, but... I just will. Not today, boo. No Nama. It took me a long time to Japanese. I need to find out if I can duck those. Whoa! Zawa? What is Zawa? Oh. That's... okay. Big Heart! It's the boss time now. So I'll try the whip out. Just automatically hit stop right. Wow. Didn't see that one coming. Oh, I thought he was gonna explode on me again. I figured he always didn't explode after he devoured the... Coal? Is this coal? Some good hits. Good clean hits. No! This my opportunity. What the heck? I got bamboozled on. Thank you for saving me. Was it the demon's power you used to seal that beast? You, you're a shard binder. That power can summon forth demons at will. I cannot allow that. Wait, it is true that I am a shard binder. However, I have sworn to be ever righteous in my command of this power, or refuse to be used for evil. Then show me the proof of that determination in battle. is without strengths and weaknesses. If I make good use of my allies, I can traverse seemingly impassable terrain. Whenever I reach a crossroads, I'll take the shortest path without fail. If I come to a fork in the path where I can't determine the shortcut, I'll follow the remains of fallen adventurers to lead me in the right direction. 
Each of my allies has their own stamina. If their health gets low, quickly switching places would be a wise idea. Hi, Nammer. Each type of sub-weapon that appears when destroying lamps can only be used by a certain person, it seems. No one else can even pick them up. Interesting. Whip smash. Ah, so she's the one that gets in those one tiles. I still can't hit to the bottom left or bottom right. Wait a second. Did did not I whip to the top right or top left a second ago? I thought I did. Maybe not. Whap. Can't test my weapon. Did -li 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 -li. Imagine she does much less damage and she has a far greater range. However, I think this is going to throw out three daggers and it's going to be really powerful. What's up with this guy? Actually, kill him. Hold on, I got this. No! I want me to go left, but I maybe don't want to go left. Potentially terrible. That does do what I thought it did. However, I was thinking that the um, that it would be more like one directly in front of me, one directly above, and one like uh, 45 degrees, like in the picture. I guess each character only has two different ones. This is not actually slick. Ooh, I think it is for sliding, though.
Oh, nope, 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 nope. Okay. I just hit him twice with one quick. I think so. Why did I choose the path with the totally not Medusa heads? Oh. What is this? That looks desirable. I got I couldn't move in the air for a second there. Maybe the whole point of that path, uh oh, was to get this, uh, weapon. Sub weapon might be really powerful. Good. Didn't want that powerful sub weapon anyways. Don't want the game being easy now. My gumbo, all that money though. With these aggressive ass frogs. Cat dang. I can I can kill these birds. Got one. I was gonna drop him in the <laughs> Yes. I can't move. There we go. Just gotta get those good sub weapon strikes in. Got another dumb spear guy. At least he makes a lot more sense than the shield guy just going back and forth with the shield. So I don't know if they just continuously take damage when the whip is on them, or if I'm doing double damage because. I hit them with the whip, and then go up, and then go back down. If it's continuous damage, then if I just stand here, yeah, I can't kill them in one hit. Interesting. The Lambda Grinders? Don't tell me you're gonna casino on all three characters. That sounds pretty wild, but I don't know if I'd advise it. It sounds like a little too much getting cheated on in Black Yank. Oh good, I don't even have faith I can land on that. Eh. Keep neglecting my Z orders. Okay, I definitely want this. I made it. Just uh, not Miriam there. That Bosso? Whoa, that's not a Bosso! Can't break his arrows. It's a little bit ridiculous to time. Got it. I can also whip them. Hopefully I'll get the thing to cheat this. Nice. Little 
this be super effective since he is made of ice? Oh, that's not fire. Give me heart. I can't get that thing. I should have. I really need to use this guy for the platforming sections and whatever, even though he's probably better in boss fights. Because if I lose him, I can't, uh. I mean, it doesn't affect me being able to get places, but if I lose Miriam, I kind of can't get this now, can I? Whatever it is. That's a fucker. If I have the right one, I don't think I do. Yep. Wrong one. Right? Gotta duck that one. Don't know what I'm supposed to do there. What is this bullshit boss? So, when you break those, it always drops the sub-weapon for the other character. I mean, for the, for the character you're using, I mean, that would... It won't drop for other characters. This is definitely her boss to fight. Just jump over that. It didn't immediately look like it was 
jump up. Whoops. Oh yeah, doesn't really matter, does it? Or just let me throw him through nice dang it, I forgot. That I would be defeated by a demon. I have been thoroughly humiliated. I am Alfred, an alchemist. Alchemist, you use demons to fulfill your worldly desires. Every achievement requires a fair exchange. Even using demons is sometimes necessary. You have your own goals, correct? My power may be of use to even you. Your existence is unsettling to me, but your skills are not without value. I'll leave your head where it is for now. Bastarado. Sticky rod. Probably does very little damage, too. I, I'm thinking with Alfred, I probably want to change to him to use his uh, alchemy frequently. Yeah. Oh, and I can keep it with other characters. Okay. I'll have that. It'll be handy for exploring. Is he gonna drop on me? Yes. I don't know how you're supposed to kill them without them hitting you, though. That is an option. Maybe she does actually do as much damage as Sangetsu because they can both two hit the archers. I'll try Oldman. Sick. <laughs> terrible, terrible Oldman. It's 
fire is how you deal with those things. I was wondering if I could just ignore the arrows. Okay. I did the double hit tech again. Accidentally. That's probably really powerful. Uh, how do I, um... I really wanted to guard this area. Gotta be some good shit though in here. Go ask this guy a question. He has a lot of help. Gonna punch. Aha! Come boing! Wow! Yeah, that's power. That's power. You start breaking those with other people, because this is what I want. You ready for some power? said I would do. Quicksand. Did not want to go in there yet. Right. Come, mouse. hit by the slowest moving projectile ever. Uh, I'm gonna get that one up. Six weapon, that's why it's so powerful. I don't know how much fire flower uses. Is that two? I think that was two. Gotta find out what's up there, it's probably really cool.
lots of money. Not really worth it, amount of weapon points. like health. Goodbye, mouse -o. Hey, that's cheap. That mouse is a cheap. What? That mouse is a cheap. I go right or down? There's no skeleton to show me the way. I'm gonna go with down. Some health up sounds fine. There's probably only like one other health up power up because he's already at full health almost. Can't be the only thing down here though. Alright, what's this do? Clone. The clone can attack. Yep. That sounds desirable. I didn't see how much it cost, though. Clone. Eh. I'm not digging the clone. Well, fight this boss. I don't fully remember him. I remember it being very easy. I think it's just this over and over. Whoa, what? Oh, yeah.
Whoa! That wasn't fair. Cursed Shard Binder, you carry the power of numerous demons. Very perceptive of you. I require the demon's power to achieve my revenge. At this moment, our objectives align. Cooperation would be proved fruitful for us both. Oh yeah, it is loser time, isn't it? So be it. I'll let you continue breathing for now. Gebel has become an alley. I remember that Gebel can bat. Looks like that's a special ability. How do I pose? Whoa! What? What did I do? What the fuck? I might have broken the video game. Uh oh. Still running, but I was trying to pause it, and I hit the fucking. Uh, I don't. I don't even know what happened. It's definitely a crasher. I can't even close it properly. It's fine though. I didn't really get that far because I was mostly learning. But yeah, I'll go fight big loser.